Oh, a bunch of saliva came into my mouth. <laughs> you know what? We roll with it. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, ladies. My name is Jack Septic Guy, and welcome back to Emily is Away 2. We should just change it to Evelyn is Away 2 now, because who cares about Emily? She freaked out at me last time. She was a she was kind of drinking and she was kind of in a very emotional state. So I'm not gonna blame her too much, but at the same time. What the hell? I was trying to be nice. I was just trying to talk to both people and be a nice person. But we're moving into the spring of 07. I'm curious as to what happened between winter and spring because the last time we talked to Evelyn, she may have given us a heart and we may have tried to almost make things happen. We kind of became an item, so I'm very curious to see what's going on. Um, you're entirely bonkers, but I'll tell you a secret. All the best people are. Evelyn's face knock. Apparently that's from something as well. Well, most stuff in this game is. I don't know what it's from. But people told me last time and I just kind of forget about it now. Sorry. Uh, we're gonna stick with this, of course. We're gonna stick with my boy Jack. Um, edit my icon. No, view profile. Let's change my profile. Oh, she's on, yes! Um, arcade fire. Well, I'm more of a fan of Linkin Park. But now, we're in the end game, we're in the end zone. Hey, best friend! Oh. Are we not- are we not a couple? I'm your best- well, I guess I could be your best friend. She's listening to the Nine Inch Nails, nice. Hey, yo, yo! Evelyn! What is totally up, Salmers? I know we already chill today, but I miss ya! This is going good. Miss you too! Miss you too, Pookie! Oh, Mr. Two Shockums. What are you up to? Hmm. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You? Well, apart from talking to you. Dude, Kelly's online. Fuck yeah. Well, I should work on this writing project due tomorrow. Are you just starting it? What's the project and due tomorrow? What's the project? I'm curious. I want to know more about your life, Evelyn, or should I say... Girlfriend. <laughs> Lol. What do you have to do it for? Or do for it? Ugh. We have to write a poem about something. Is there a prompt? I can help you. Jack's amazing at poetry. Yeah, it's super vague. What should I write about? I I don't know. You didn't give. You said there's a prompt, but you just said it's super vague. Is super vague the prompt? Cause that's not a prompt. <laughs> we should write some serious scat poetry about something like Baba Zitsu Zao World and life is endless torture Bada boom Pow It's good, right? I like it. I'm into it Um, super vague. What's your write about? Not me Jesus, how fucking narcissistic could you be? Your best day ever, some deep shit Tell about some deep shit, I don't know, I'll stare out the window while it's raining and fucking talk about nature I don't know, some deep shit or something. Lol, okay, I think I can do that. I really like this class. <laughs> That's swell! That's super cool, Evelyn! I'm glad that you like that thing! Good for you! An easy A? It sounds cool. Anyone I would know in it? Oh, are you gonna say Emily? some girl named Emily is in it? I don't think so. I didn't know anyone. But some of the people in it are pretty cool. Hmm. I'm jealous. I'm jealous of the fact that you have a cool class and the people in it are cool because you don't always get that. Especially when you're picking electives in school or college. It's like, you, you get in there and it's like, oh, I want to do this class, it's going to be awesome. And then you get in and it's literally just a bunch of dicks sitting in the seats. You're like, oh man, now I'm going to be in class all year with dicks. Not as cool as me. Again, stop being such an egoist. Egotist. Good last semester class. Colin P. Do the mad attacks online. Oh, yo, guess what? What? I'm gonna do it like this because I'm playful and fun. Nine Inch Nails just came out with a new album. Dude, hit me with the deets. Yo, slide them deets into my DMs. That's why the D stands for deet messages. <laughs> I know punk's your favorite too, so I bet you love it. Send me a link up in this bitch! Dude, I'm about to, I'm about to bust a nut up in this shit with nine inch nails. 
Okay, what we got? What we got? You're listening to Survivalism. I think I actually know this song. Yeah. I can't remember right off the top of my head. I was never a huge Nine Inch Nails fan. Um, my brother used to listen to them sometimes when I was growing up, so I know some of their songs, but not all of them. Um, and that sounds familiar. Let me just skip ahead to a tiny piece. Sure. Fucking Jesus! <laughs> okay, thanks Evelyn! I'm deaf now! This is great, you know the best music. You always like so totally send me the best music, Evelyn. I love it. Oh, shut up. No. <laughs> oh, man. Jackie's blowing up my phone right now. What's going on? And I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nothing crazy. She's trying to plan a big party. Yo, dog. You planning some sick cakers up in this? You're not inviting your main homie? I'm trying to be cool, I'm trying to blend in, I'm trying to be part of the gang. What kind of party? Why is she texting you? Why is she texting you? I thought you weren't even friends. Take a fucking sip, babe. An anti-prom party. She's going all out. Is that for the people who don't go to prom? You go to the anti-prom party? Or is it the party that goes on after the prom? See, we don't have prom here. There's no such thing as prom in Ireland or England or, or Europe, really, either. Unless some European countries take on, like, American traditions. We don't really have prom here. I mean, we have dances and stuff that goes on at the end of the year. We just don't call it prom. We have, like, graduation and stuff. But not prom. We don't actually call anything prom, so I don't know what a fucking anti-prom is. I know what an anti-grad party is. And that was actually just a party that happened after the graduation, so... Fuck on me, right? That sounds like fun! Speaking of prom... Should I ask her? Oh, do it! Uh, yes? That's a good sign. Oh! Evelyn, did you maybe want to go with me? Why is it freaking out like that? Stop! Do you mean like, as your date? Oh, if I have to clarify, then you did not get what I was meaning, but maybe you're just a nervous too, and you kind of want to clarify. Yes! If that's cool with you! Yes, of course, Shaq! Yes! Yes! I was hoping you were going to ask me. Yes! <laughs> that's the fucking shit! Oh, whoa! Cell 5! Oh! Oh! That's a load off my face! Hairs everywhere! I'm just glad she said yes, Evelyn. <laughs> I got to be a date! I got to be a date for prom! Like I would have said, no, Jesus, I have the stupidest smile right now. Me too! Oh, I didn't suddenly just yell in my room alone. <laughs> okay. Play it cool. Yo, what's up, girl? You wanna go fucking prom with me? That's fucking cool. Whatever. Dope! Um... You are not alone. I will smile with you. Like, I've wanted this to be a thing for so long. Oh! Fucking... Another self five! That's what I'm all about! I wish you could do, like, an edit where my hand goes off screen. Like, here. And then just, like, suddenly comes back on screen. Like... What about? I wish you could do like an edit where my hand goes off screen. Like here. No, I can't make that happen. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um now we are. Hey! I did too! God, I completely forgot all about Emily. Oh. Can I like call myself your girlfriend? Oh! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, I remember these times back when I was 16 and you got your first girlfriend or something. I was like, so are we like boyfriend, girlfriend? It's like, um, yeah, I guess so. You want to like hang out or something? That's cool. And then you meet up and you just want to spend all your time together. And those like five minutes that they go away to like do something else. You're like, oh God, I want to hang out with them all the time. 
I hope they don't leave. <laughs> Can I call myself your girlfriend? No, but I can. Wait, is that smooth? If you want to, sounds a little like, I don't know. This sounds like. No, baby, but I can. You know, I want to be suave. How do I be a suave 16 to 20 year old? I don't know, it's very ambiguous. Um, well, in 2007, I was 17, so I'll just go with that. Um, that is not allowed. No! There'll be no GFing up in this shit! No, but I can call you my girlfriend. LOL! Oh, oh! And Emily comes online. This is gonna be awkward, isn't it? You better be, I'm Jazz too. Or I'm Jazz for prom now. It's gonna be sick! It's gonna be May! I'm all giddy now. <laughs> is Emily gonna message me? Ember's has signed in. She's listening to Arctic Monkeys. Oh shit, now I need to buy a dress and all that stuff. Dude, me too! I'd like to go in a dress to prom. That'd be really cool. That would be sick type. That would be dope af. What do you mean it stands for as fuck? I thought people were just saying dope af. Oh god! <laughs> That's a bad thing? You're going to look beautiful. Jack! You're being all sweet! Oh, shut up! Will you shut up? What should our, like, color be? Um... Unicorn blood! Like a silvery mercury kind of color? Dark bra black, bright blue, some red. Ooh. See, you can't go wrong with the black dress. Black goes with everything. Black is like your safe zone. If if you're in the middle of a war and there was bombs going off all around you, black would be like that shielded, like shelter that you'd be able to go into. And everything, everybody's fine. Everyone's eating spam. It's all cool in there. It's all hunky daisies. Bright blue, that's out there. But I actually don't know what you look like. Uh, oh wait, I didn't check these. With hands held high to a sky so blue, the ocean opens up to swallow you. Okay, I know a lot of Linkin Park. Hybrid Theory, Meteora, even a thousand suns to a degree. I don't recognize this line. What song is that from? You I'm gonna fucking look it up right now. No, you you'll fucking wait. With hands held high into a sky is Oh fuck you! I was putting it in. Sorry, I'm arguing with Google right now. To the sky so blue. It was right there and now I fucked it up. Hands held high lyrics. Hands held high, Linkin Park, October 2008. What album is this from? I don't know. This is weird. I'm uncomfortable now. You made me uncomfortable, game. I got survivalism. Jack, best friends. Okay, first off, that's totes cringe. Totes cringe as fuck. Not af. Are you sure? Okay, because they'll judge me. Right. Um. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cringe saying Franz. Hi, best Fran. Hey, right, fucking Fran Bo or what? Um, okay, back to the dress. I've, I've tan, I'm tangentially meandered. Some red. Red is like your sexy dress. Red is like, if you're feeling baller and you want to roll up in this bitch like, hey, what up, it's me, get with the program, then you're going for some red. For some blood orange, which I'm actually drinking right now. Some San Pellegrino. Sparkling blood orange. Which is just fucking red. I'd say some red. Red's like, red's like a cool, if it works, bazinga. But if not, how about some kind of red? How are you feeling about my boy red, Evelyn? Sounds good. We're gonna look swell. Oh wait, I have to wear red then. Oh shit, I wear like a red tie. Finally, I could wear just a red suit. That would be bitching. Okay. Damn right, best dress there. You're gonna be cute. 
I don't want to be over. I don't want to like go all out. I was like, you're going to be beautiful. I would like to say she looked cute as well, but I already said she looked beautiful. I don't want to just be like, you'd look great. You look beautiful. I love you. Kind of thing, you know. I know. I don't want to be desperate. Um, we're gonna look swell. Damn, fucking right we are. La la p. <laughs> so what should we do after prom? Jackie's party. You're the one talking about it. She's messaging you, so maybe. Yeah, that would be a ton of fun. It would be a ton of fun. I mean, you can't really measure fun in, like, metrics like that, but... Hey, a ton is a lot. Hopefully some alone time. Ugh, don't be a f I mean, you probably mean that in the, like, I just want to hang out and stuff, but it comes across as creepy. Like, hey, maybe some alone time. Maybe I can touch you a little bit. Maybe I can smell your hair. <laughs> don't do that. Crash their party. Stay up all night. That's what I did. When I graduated school and went to the dance. Like we don't already do that on weekends. Evelyn! You know us so well! Hey, do you mind if I bring up something semi-serious? Hmm. No. But now I'm scared. I'm always being serious. Of course I don't. Talk to me. I just really wanted to thank you for helping me with Steve drama this winter. I really needed you and you were there for me. You would do the same. Well, I just know you would have done the same for me. Emily hasn't written to me. I would have, but really. Your advice to call Steve out and tell my friends the truth was incredible. I'd like to think so too. What did Steve say? Oh, I should ask if your friends believed you. I don't really give two rats asses what Steve said. But I guess, in for a penny, in for a pound. Well, he kept denying what had actually happened. But I think people realized he was lying. Yes! Yes! But enough about that. I just wanted to say it meant a lot. You mean a lot or I'm glad I could help. You mean a lot. Well, you mean a lot to me, Evelyn. It's just so nice knowing you're real. That you're still around even though you know the real me. And I know the real you. Yeah. Let's just be real with people all the time. If you be real with people and you just be honest and open and you communicate and the other person reciprocates that, then you ain't gonna have any problems. Well, you will. Every relationship, every couple, every pairing of people will always have troubles every now and then. Even your favorite person in the world. Even if I hung out with Chris Pratt for a year, I'm sure there's at least one point in my time that he would bug me. Probably because he's being too nice and awesome. Um, but after a while, you're always gonna get annoyed with somebody over something, regardless of who they are or what they say or anything. Like a lot of people say, Jack, I'd love to meet you and hang out with you and everything. Super sweet, thank you. <laughs> That's adorable. But I guarantee you I would piss you off after a little while. Everybody would. That's just the way humanity works. But if you're honest and you're open and you talk to each other and you communicate, then you work through that and you get past it and it's nice. Um, knowing the real you. And I always will be. You're there for me too. Smileys. You know, it's stupid. I used to think we were incompatible. Me too, because I fluffed up the lines. <laughs> for reasons like, we have different plans for our <laughs> lives. <laughs> like, fucking reading my back in a teleprompter, like, what shit, what did the game save? But it's really actions that matter, not stupid stuff like that. Boom! Then boom goes the dynamite, Evelyn. That's what really matters. Actions. Not what people say, not what they claim to be. Not what they say they're going to do, it's what they actually do. It's like, I, I always use the example of me talking about answering comments or interacting with you guys. Because I, there's a lot of people out there who say, Oh, I love my community and I love my audience and I, I just love interacting with them. And then they never actually do it, they just say it because it makes them sound good. This is why I never want to say things that I'm not actually going to try and do. I mean, sometimes I'll fail. Sometimes everybody fails. But it's, I, I like to mean what I say. Because otherwise, what's the point in saying it? 
Like, oh, cool, yeah, that made me sound awesome for five minutes. And then everyone was like, oh, wait, what about that thing you said you were going to do? I was like, shit. I gotta go over here for a minute. Oh, I pointed the wrong direction? Bye! <laughs> you know what I mean, though. You get me. Um, so act actions mean a lot. Especially actions... I believe people's real actions come from when nobody else is kind of around. When, when you don't stand to gain anything yourself from doing something. That's why I always say be nice for the sake... Like, actually just being nice to people. And not because it's going to get you anything. Like, d donate to charity because it's a good thing to do. Be nice to other people because that's the right thing to do. Don't do all these things because you think it's going to come back to you in some way and that's it's going to make you look awesome or people are going to like you more or anything like that. Because that, that, that will always catch up with you in the end, I think. Just be a genuine person and then you have nothing to hide from. There's nothing, nothing's going to catch you out after a while. I don't know. I just see a lot of people do that shit and it bothers me so much. That's why I said in reading comments a while ago that I really hate dishonesty. I hate dishonesty, I hate lying, I hate manipulation, I hate tricking people into certain ways. It bothers me, it bugs me, I hate it. And being in the YouTube sphere, I see a lot of it and it, that really gets to me as well because there's so many great people out there and they have so much, like, I don't want to say power, but you think about the amount of influence youtubers have over people and the amount of good that the communities are able to like do together with those youtubers and a lot of people look up to these people and go to them for guidance and go to them for advice and life goals and these different things and a lot of people are just squandering that potential or taking that for granted or using it in very very dangerous and destructive ways i know i'm, tr I'm trying my best over here and i'm trying to show people a, a nice side of things and I'm trying to just treat people well and nice and do my best and hopefully that, that rubs off. God, I go on these big tangents, I'm so sorry. But it's really stupid actions matter, couldn't have said it better myself, yeah. Sorry, this is what Emily is away does to you. It posits big life things. I'm gonna drink some of my blood orange. Hell, a different can even be better. Also very true. I'm just really happy that we're a thing. It's pretty swell. She said swell before as well. So I'm just gonna reciprocate that. It is. This is a nice conversation. Hey, check it out. I finished my writing project. Accept file. Okay, am I actually gonna get a file here? I am. Is this deep enough for you? Ooh, let's see this. The sun, it envelops me whole, while surrounding my soul, and I can't wade out. The moon, it shines through the blinds, reminds me of times, but I can't see out. The stars, stuck in the sky, telling a lie that I can't figure. Whoa. The sun, it envelops me whole, while surrounding my soul, and I can't wade out. The moon, it shines through the blinds, reminds me of times, but I can't see out. Are these song lyrics? I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna do a quick Google Tron of this. No? Well, Kasabian lyrics came up, but it, they don't match up, so... Good job, em Evelyn! I didn't say Emily! It's cause the game is called that! It's confusing me! This is so good! I didn't know you had it in yet! Lol, thanks! Poems are really hard to write. <laughs> That's like the, the Juno thing. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, Evelyn, you're a natural. That was awesome. You didn't even have to try. He's like, I try really hard, actually. <laughs> I love that line. That was my last bit of homework. Now I can go to bed. And leave me? How dare? I know, it's the saddest thing. And I just can't wait to get super comfy and warm under some covers. That does sound cozy af. Hey, that's fuck. Sorry, Jesus, it'll take me a while. Okay, <laughs> I just can't wait. Uh, I want to join you. Ooh, maybe overstepping boundaries. Maybe don't go that far that quick. That does sound nice. Especially on a rainy day. I know, I wish we could cuddle. Okay, she initiated. 
I wish so too. Oh, there's an option for tomorrow night. We're the best cuddlers. Hopefully we can get in some alone time after prom. I hope so too, said the ma amazing conversationalist. Okay, bedtime. Oh, boo! Boo, Evelyn! Boo! Sorry. Get comfy. Good night, Jack. Ah, oh, deuces! <laughs> Sorry, force of habit. <laughs> Good night, Evelyn. Ah, oh, I face myself. Erase myself. Let go of what I've done. I face myself. <laughs> Emily misses me. Hi. Hey. I was going to write her name, but I didn't. I know we haven't talked, like, in a while. No worries. Could we, like, talk for a little bit? I could totally shun her out right now if I... If I wanted to. I know, man! You burned me hard! What's going on? You and Jeff broke up? I just want to say some stuff about January. Okay. I'm listening. Am I being too harsh? I'm really sorry for getting mad at you. I'm sorry. The whole thing was my fault. I didn't say that. I was just not replying insanely fast by your standards. The whole thing wasn't my fault, but... I know you're like, you didn't like owe me anything. I just thought you'd be there for me. I don't know. I just couldn't be. It was five seconds. I regret what happened. I don't feel like all the onus is going to fall on me, but let's bridge this gap instead of me expecting you to come all the way. You were taking so long to respond. Oh, I'm sorry. You mean the amount of time, like, has just passed since you wrote that? And am I supposed to reply super quick now? What were you doing while we were talking? I was talking to someone else. I mean, I talked about being honest. Not that it's any of your bizzo. Talking to who? Was it really important? Promised not to tell. Yeah, I can't. Could be honest with you, but I promised I wouldn't say anything on Evelyn's behalf. As I said, I wouldn't say anything on your behalf to somebody else, so I'm not going to do that. But yeah, it was important. Oh god, what did I press? Sorry. Okay, I was just worried you like... Didn't want to deal with me or something. Definitely not the case. I was just talking to somebody else. People are allowed to do that, you know. I was just feeling really lost and you were there. And I guess maybe I unloaded too much baggage like all at once. Okay. It's fine. You're allowed to unload baggage on people, especially people who say they're there to listen. But you also shouldn't get insanely mad when they don't respond super quick. Because I know you like your emotions are heightened and some of it can feel like, oh god, they're not listening to me, I shouldn't be talking about this kind of stuff. But at the same time, like, you shouldn't just hit your horse to just me. There are other people that you can talk to. Even though I was there, I was listening, but maybe not get so aggressive. You were drinking. That's what drunk people do, it's okay. Oh, that's not nice. Oh god, I know, I just feel so embarrassed for it. 
Like, whenever we talked, you were always so composed. And here I was, just being a complete mess. Hey, I could be pretty shit, too. Even sober. It's hard form sentences. Don't beat yourself up. It's seriously okay. Everyone has a bad day, Emily. You're, uh, you're allowed to flip off the handle. You're allowed to lose your shit. You're allowed to freak out and not make any sense and just be an asshole for a day. Or f every now and then. It's when you continuously do that that it becomes a problem because then you become very hard to deal with. And then... I don't know. A, lo a lot of people think that if your friend is sad all the time, that it's up, like, it's up to you to, like, always be there for them. And that's, and to a degree, that's true, but you shouldn't always be their scapegoat either, because it's not fair on you to always take on that burden either. It's not fair on your friend to always feel that way, but it's not always fair on you to always have to be lumped with that stuff. Like, you should be friends, not someone's therapist. At, at least that's what I believe. Um, because I feel like if somebody's really... If they're super sad, like, all the time, I mean, like, way above normal, beyond... Beyond help? Not really beyond help, but beyond advice. Like, if you're always there for somebody and you're always giving them advice to... to cheer up or trying to help them or you're always there to listen to them, if they keep lumping that on you, it's not really fair. I feel like they should go talk to somebody about that kind of stuff. Because it's... it's very damaging. And you don't want to lose your friend over something like that either. I know, but it's a, that's a very cut and dry response, and as I always say, life is a bit more nuanced than that. It's it's a bit trickier than just those kinds of things, because sometimes not talking to your friend can lead to serious consequences. But tricky subjects, tricky tricky dicky. Don't mention it. I feel like I do that too much. I feel like I go on rants too much recording this game. So I guess we're officially talking again. I guess so. I'm glad. It's been a while. What have you been up to? A lot, kinda. Me and Jeff finally broke up like a month ago. She finally did it, and yeah. It's been really nice being single. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with being single, girl. Go out there, enjoy yourself. Get to know you. He didn't refuse. And see, this is the point in the game where you'd probably be, be able to go off and coerce Emily into kind of being your girlfriend, game-wise. But I, I, like, at this point in time, it doesn't feel right to do that. I could game the system and try and romance both, but I'm getting along really, really well with Evelyn. And I want to honor that. Just like it would be real. That and I feel like me and Evelyn would be more compatible than me and Emily. And now college is coming up. Oh no, he did. But this time I was ready. And now college is coming up soon. Wiping the slate clean? So you're basically wiping the slate clean. That's the plan. I've met some new friends though. That's good. One of them I think you know pretty well. Oh really? Who? Uh, just your best friend Evelyn. She's really grand. I knew that that would happen. I knew they'd finally come around and get to know each other. Oh, yeah, she is actually girlfriend now. Just gonna say it. Just gonna put it out there. Set some ground rules. May do I have to? I don't really know if I. I don't think I really have to. Do I? Because it's not like she's presuming anything. Because I always hate the people who do that. Not that I've ever... Actually, it's always in movies or something that you see it. Where you go up and it's like, Hey, how's it going? It's like, I have a boyfriend. It's like, cool. Just trying to talk, but okay. Yeah, she is. How do you know her? Is she the person in your class? She's in my writing class this semester. She just sat next to me one day. Jeff's in that class too, so it was really nice of her. Isn't she the best? <laughs> okay, let's not hit, let's not run away too far with this. It really was.
Are you gonna tell me she's like a mega bitch or something? She's like really pretty too. I so are you. Oh. I could, but I think I know where the game wants that to go. I know she's gorgeous. Well, I'm glad you're doing well. And I'm really glad we're messaging again. It's been too long, man. It's been way too long. I have a beard now. I have kids. I'm married. You got you got stuck up at a firm somewhere. Sorry if this is getting sappy. Could be sappier. Well, I think it could be sappier. Don't beat yourself up too much, Emily. Challenge accepted. Oh God. Honestly, I really miss talking to you. Not talking was weird. I think what I missed most was just talking about nothing, if that makes sense. Lol, yeah. I get what you mean. Yay, you so smart. Why does nobody in this game spell? <laughs> now you're just lying. Have you seen me, math? It's atrocious. Two plus two, what? Yeah, this. I missed this. Same here. We're just friends, guys. Stop judging me. See you out there with your judging glasses on, drinking your judge tea. Be judge Judy's. Don't do that. It's just here to talk to a friend. Well, I don't want to steal your whole night, so I think I'm going to go. Okay, sure thing. Thanks for talking to me, though. It means a lot. Yeah, of course. I probably could keep the train going, but I'm doing I'm doing what feels natural. She said deuces! Deuces! Oh, Emily! You're, you're good at the core, Emily. You're a good one. Peace! That's not cool. I wanted to say deuces, too. Emily is a- er, yeah, Emily is away. D is for delightful. Okay! That is the spring of 07 done. Ooh. Summer 2007. Wait, these were all just Evelyn's face nook. Joey, whatever. Jonathan, Saffron. This one is just straight what she told me. It's just so nice knowing you're real and that you're still around even though you know the real me. Is that gonna come back around in some form? Because that's a pretty weird sense. It's just nice knowing you're real. Are you a ghost, Evelyn? <laughs> okay, well that was the spring. That was fun. Things are progressing and things are starting to like... At the start of the series, it was kind of like a big, long, flat plane. And then as we started to get further, it started to... Like, pyramid more and more. And now we're starting to funnel into what the, the end of this game is going to be. We're getting to a point. We're at the last chapter. Because before it was like, oh, Evelyn, Emily. And then it, it kind of like came and it was like, Evelyn or Emily? Oh god, which one? And then it kind of came up and now it's definitely Evelyn. But uh, we still like talking to Emily. Emily's still a good friend. Emily's still cool. She says deuces. Deuces! So she's cool in that regard. But, but Evelyn's my bae now. She's the one that will go to prom with me. Oh, would we have gone to prom by now in this? I don't know. We're gonna have to find out next time on Jacksepticeye. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face, like your paws, and I face a row. Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes. Ah!